part is swab that debt lad before I makes you walk the plank. Arr. O oh, lowly ones, thou shalt not pass. I say, I say, I say. T-shirt. T-shirt. Come a little closer. Car. Tell me, little boy, what's your name? Eh? I said, what's your name? Uh, t Thomas. Thomas, really? Tell me, Thomas, would you like to hear a story? Uh, of course you would. Listening? Once upon a time, there was a naughty little boy called T-Shirt. Was there? Yes, there was. Oh, he was a wicked child. Was he? Yes, he was. And do you know what this horrid little viper did to his best friend? No. Betrayed her, tricked her, and then banished her. Isn't that a terrible thing to do? I suppose so. Suppose? Suppose! I'll suppose you come here. No! I said, come here. <laughs> tea bag! What did you call me, boy? Oh, I mean your mother's tea. That's better. What are you doing here? I thought... I know what you thought. You thought you'd beaten me. You thought you'd imprisoned me in that dreadful letters game. Well, you thought wrong. But how? Quiet! I'll make you sorry you ever dared gang up against me with that wretched Madame Deborah. Curse her! Curse her! But that's all in the past. Now you're going to serve me once again. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. Never, 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 never. Come under my power, boy. Strange. Nothing o'clock and nothing's well. 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 Nothing o'clock and. Oh, oh, go, go away, go away. Shoo, go away. Who, me? Uh, yes, you. Go away, leave us in peace. Skidaddle, vamos. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, oh, that's what they all say. Please, go, go. We've quite enough trouble here as it is. Don't need any more. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Nothing o'clock and nothing's well. Excuse me, more trouble. Come back. Are you still there? Didn't I make myself plain, didn't I? You said you were in trouble. Oh, quite right, I am. And not only me, all of us here. Trouble, did you say? Oh, terrible trouble. Look out, I'm going to start crying. <laughs> it's all her fault, you know. All her fault? All her fault? Surely he can't mean... Oh, but that would be impossible. But say if it was, 
It would be absolutely awful. I'd better find out. I must get down there. Now, what did I do last time? I had to think small. That's it. I had to think small. Hold on a minute. You what? Now, think small. with this already. What was that? Nothing. <laughs> Have a care with my valuables, T-shirt. I'm only cleaning them. Just take care. Tell you what, let's have a tea break. Oh, great, I need a rest. I didn't say take a rest. Make me a good, strong cup of tea. Just like the bad old days. Just a minute. What? How can I make a cup of tea? I thought we got rid of your magic tea plant. Quite so, my cheeky-faced little friend. The day you and Madame Deborah destroyed my precious tea plant was the day I lost all my powers. So how come... How come my powers have returned? Yes, how come? This is how come. What's that? I'll tell you. It's a brand new strain of tea plant. A new tea plant? Quite so, T-shirt. Maximus Bruapacapa. Eh? Loosely translated means enchanted teaweed. Teaweed? Yes. Every leaf is packed with ten times the power. Each time I take a cup of tea, I can feel its magical energy surging through my bones. It's sensational. It's terrific. It's... it's... Terrible. Hello? Where have you gone? Where are you? Oh, excuse me. What do you want? Go away, I said. Go away. I came to see if I could help. Nobody can help. Nobody. Just go. You said it was all her fault. Well, it is. She's caused all the trouble. Who's she? Oh, very funny. Who is she? Very hubris, very droll. She wouldn't sort of be like this, would she? Uh, well, sort of like that, yes. With a touch of... Oh, oh definitely with a touch of... Yes, exactly. And worst of all, like this. <gasps> that is her. That is her down to a tea. Tea bag. <laughs> tea bag's here in this book. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. You'd better tell me the worst. Uh, you haven't come here to spread trouble as well, have you? No, I've come to help. But I can't help if I don't know what's going on. Well, you'd better sit down. Comfortable? Yes. Then I'll begin. By the way, my name's Hickory. Hickory Dickory Dock, hyphenated. <laughs> but you can call me just plain Hickory. Pleased to meet you, Hickory. My name's Debbie. Debbie! <laughs> well, now, Debbie, here's the problem. Problem? Oh, this used to be such a beautiful story. With a wonderful happy ending, too. Not anymore. What happened? Well, it was like this. One day, there I was, happily calling out the time. I'm the town crier hereabouts, you see. <laughs> yes, well, any road, there I was going about my business without a care in the world. When all of a sudden... Five o'clock and all's well. Five o'clock and all's well. Oop -oop. Five wonderful clocks and everything's simply marvellous. Bell, you're giving me a ringing headache. It's my job. Five o'clock and all's well. Who are you, anyway? I haven't seen you round here before. You're not part of this story. Never mind who I am. Just answer me one question. You can't just wander in here like this, you know. I can do what I like. You don't belong here. No, but I soon will. Pardon? I understand that in this book there's a story about a magic garden. Is this it, by any chance? No, it's not this story. That story is... Uh, uh, just a minute. Who wants to know? I understand. 
understand that in this magic garden all manner of weird and wonderful plants grow. And what if they do? Tell me how to get there. None of your business. Up it. Oh, what a heartless way to treat a poor old lady. I've come such a long way. My feet are killing me. And you just want to turn me away. It's too bad. Oh, no, no, no. I My didn't one say last that. wish in life was to see for myself this beautiful magic garden. And you just want to kick me out. No, no. Kick I... out a poor defenseless old lady. No, madam. Who I never didn't... harmed a soul who wouldn't hurt a fly. No, look here, who madam. Who used to take I... in stray cats during the winter and nursed poor wounded sparrows back to health. Wounded sparrows? Oh. All right, all right. Well, where is it? Uh, it's the last story in the book. It's, it's, it's that way. Oh, thank you. My pleasure. It... <laughs> so, tea bad trick, Joe. And did you go to the magic garden? I'm afraid so. What happened next? Next? Oh, next came the awful bit. A few hours later, and she was back. Eleven o'clock and all's well. Eleven o'clock and all's well. Everything's great and couldn't be better. Aye, aye, there's a storm brewing. Eleven o'clock and there's a storm brewing. Stop that! Good gracious, who are you? I am the high tea. <laughs> How did you do that? I can do anything, anything at all. Now that I have my enchanted tea weed, I have all the power I need. You're evil. Evil, yes. No one is more evil than me. I am evil, evil, evil. I am the high tea, the majesty of all evil. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I said, what's the joke? Answer me. <laughs> you. <laughs> How dare you laugh and point at me? How dare you? Don't you realise, you stupid man, the power I have over you? I have all the power in the world! Yes, but not for long. What do you mean, not for long? What does that mean? Speak up, man! Well, I laughed and laughed and laughed. Yes, but what was so funny? What made you laugh so much? What, indeed, that's the problem. Yes. I can't remember. You must remember. I've tried, I just can't. Can't you remember anything else about what happened? No. Oh, yes. There was something strange. Oh. She did the most extraordinary thing. She started stamping up and down, ranting and raving like a madwoman. And then all of a sudden, mm -hmm. she made all the silver numbers disappear off the down clock. She did what? Every last one of them, gone. It was most extraordinary. Gone where? Well, I've no idea. She must have done it for a reason. Now let's get this straight. Teabag stolen all the silver numbers from the clock and put the clock out of action. Correct. And put putting the clock out of action, time can't go on. Uh. And if time can't go on, there can be no end into the story. Uh, I see, I, I think. And then if there's no end into the story, then whatever Teabag's so afraid of will never, ever happen. Of course I see now. No wonder I couldn't remember it. So now I know exactly what I have to do. Find all the silver numbers. Put them back on the clock. Start time going again. Yes, yeah, and then... Teabag will be quaking in her boots. Oh, 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 oh. oh, Teabag's not going to like this one little bit. Oh, for goodness sake, Hickory. I'm not scared of old Baggy Pants. Oh, shush, shush. Baggy Pants! Oh, shush, shush. We're off to find the silver numbers, Teabag. We'll soon see what you're up to. Come on, Hickory. Uh, yes, yes. Uh... <laughs> oh, bliss, utter bliss. Now, let's just keep an eye on things. Hey, crumbs and crumpets. What's up? It can't be. What is it? Let me see. It's Debbie. It can't be working properly. Oh. She's here. She's here. I don't believe it. She's here. She's here. Debbie's here. Miss Know-It-All, Miss Smarty Pants, Miss Pesky Nosy Parker Clever Clogs is here. Great. If you have any fancy ideas about palling up with her again, you can just forget them. In fact, forget her. 
Is that clear? Forget Debbie. Forget Debbie. Forget Debbie. Forget Debbie. Have you forgotten her? Who? Debbie? I said forget her. Have you forgotten her now? Forgotten who? Debbie! Who's Debbie? Excellent. Now, you just wait here, T-shirt. Yes, Your Majesty. Numbers, numbers, numbers. No, no. Oh, somebody's left a pair of shoes here and a pair of socks. There's a couple of legs in the socks. Ah, it's you, baggy pants. I mean, Your Majesty. Please don't grovel. You won't get round me as easily as that. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. I, I, I mean, no, Your Majesty. I, I... Oh, stop babbling, man. Where is she? Uh, uh, who? You know who. Uh, oh, yes, quite. Uh, you, you know who. Precisely. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Where is she and why is she here? Answer me, you old goat. Why should I? It's our little secret. Oh, it's a secret, is it? Oh, I see. Oh, well, if it's a secret, you mustn't tell a soul, let alone me. Right. Wrong. Tell me. She's come to help. How? Collect the missing silver numbers. From the clock? Yes, must put the numbers back on the clock. So that's her little game. Well, well, well. This time she's bitten off more than she can chew. I'm more powerful than ever, and those silver numbers are scattered in the most far-flung corners of this book. Not even clever clogs can find them. So, when you see her again, give her this message from me. Don't meddle, miss. Get it? Got it. Good. Toodle pip. Good heavens. Oh, she frightened the life out of me. Hickory! Oh, she's back. Hickory! Oh, oh no sign of any silver numbers. Any luck, Hickory? Uh, oh, you better watch out. You're in deep trouble now. What? She was here. Tea bag? Yes, and she wasn't pleased. Oh. Not pleased at all. She's left a message for you. Oh, what message? Oh, what message? What was it now? Oh, something about Miss Medal, was it? Don't me miss... Don't miss the medal, was it? Or, don't or, miss the medal? Well, it could have been don't meddle the miss, or miss don't the medal, or a uh, miss... Uh, Is there something wrong with your neck? Look! Your medal! What about it? What? It's got a silver number one. A silver number one? What? By Jove, Debbie, you're right. We found the first silver number. <laughs> but there is still a lot more to be found. Yes, and they could be anywhere. I mean, absolutely anywhere. We'd best start looking right away. Next, we need a silver number two. Yeah. So where do I go from here? Well, why not try story number two? Good idea. <laughs> it's that way. I do wish you luck, Debbie. Thanks. I'll be back as soon as i found all the numbers. Mm. Bye. Bye. I'll be waiting. And a lot of choice, have I?